My name is Stephen Hawes, and I've got a question. When I was born, my eyes were bright blue, but as I got older, they mellowed out, and I don't know if I should call them blue or green. I know it sounds like kind of a dumb question, like, who cares what you call them, they just are what they are. And that's true, it doesn't really matter, but I've always liked quantifying things, and it seemed like answering that question accurately would be a challenge. So I decided to calculate my eye color as precisely as possible. Using my DSLR camera, some lighting gear, and a script on my laptop, I set off to find if my eyes were really blue or green. The script I wrote uses OpenCV, an awesome library that lets you do a ton of different operations on images. After getting my DSLR connected to my laptop as a webcam, I used some threshold functions to show only my iris. Then I could split my eye color up into its blue and green components. I also had the script record how much blue and green was in each frame and add it all up. Of all blue and green pixels, over half were green. So there's my answer, green. I decided to go a bit further and include red in the script so I could get my actual eye color as an RGB value. The script outputted percentage of intensity for each channel, red, green, and blue. I wasn't expecting the numbers I got. My eyes are more red than they are green. What the hell? That is super weird. I... Technically, if you're going on a RGB scale, my eyes are red. <laughs> more so, you you can more easily say they are red than that they are green. That's really weird. <laughs> this is my eye color here, according to the script that I wrote. And that's because I had blue and green, a lot of blue and green in the parts that look blue and green in my eye, and then I had a little more red heavy yellow streaks, or whatever the hell color that was, orangey, whatever. And then in the end, because I'm averaging all of these together, it kind of ends up gray. Like if you take red, green, and blue paint, you know, or red, uh, yellow, and blue paint, and you mix all that together, it's just like brown at the end. So in this process of averaging and like trying to figure out what color my eyes are, I end up kind of muting all of the, the different colors and getting more of a gray hue. So actually looking at the color output of this whole experiment isn't really gonna shed any light about what color my eyes are. You know, I think the best way to do that is to take a picture of my eyes. But what this is really supposed to do is say if they are more green or blue. That's the thesis of this whole project, is to see whether or not my eyes are blue or they are green. Which, which word best defines my eyes? And I think pretty cleanly, uh, green wins out. So here, when I put in the percentages, even if you just look at the percentages of from zero to 255, how much blue, how much uh, green. Uh, green definitely wins out, 18% versus 22. That's clean cut, there it is right there. And although the color that you actually get out of all those percentages is kind of murky, it's still the net color of, of my eye. Like that is definitively the color, like the pixel values of my iris all summed up into a color. Is that gray? Just kind of depressing, <laughs> but that's what it is. Um, but I do have my answer. My eyes are 22% green and 18% blue. So there it is. My eyes are green. All right, thank you so much for watching. This has been such a blast to figure out how to do. I learned a lot more about OpenCV in the process. I had done some stuff with it before, but this was really fun working more with like, the types and stuff. Um, it was a total blast. Also, figuring out like the whole lighting setup. I've got my softbox lighting up here to help illuminate my iris a little better. Uh, dealing with changing lighting throughout the course of the day, and also figuring out how to get my DSLR to act as a webcam into OpenCV was a total trip, but I'm super stoked it worked. So yeah, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.